name is Colin and you are watching Classic Herbs. So I got another short video here with you guys today. Um, today I'm going to be going over just basically like what I have left over from, um, we, we, you know, breeding ball pythons over the last year. This is basically what we have left from the season and trying to find them new homes because the breeding season is just about to start again. So these guys need to go somewhere so that uh, we can make room for the next year's baby. So I'm going to show you guys every individual that we have real quickly. Um, just so that if anyone is interested, they can take some of these guys home. Now, um, before I begin, I'm just going to say these are all listed on Morph Market. So if you look up Manhattan Reptile Planet, and I'll put a link in the description, you can find all of these individuals listed on there. Um, so if you're interested in anything, uh, find them online. So first off, this is a male leopard ball python. And I'm not going in any real particular order. I'm just going to start from the top and I'm going to go to the bottom. Not terribly organized, but just to show you guys what we have available. I said a male leopard ball python. We have a second um, male leopard ball python there. These guys are really nice. This is a leopard blitz. So you kind of see a little bit more darker patterning, a little bit busier pattern. Um, really pretty animal. Um, awesome genetics going into there. If you guys like the leopard stuff and the blitz kind of messes with stuff. So there's a little bumblebee, so a pastel spider. It's really nice. Um, younger baby from later season. Um, a sibling over here that we hit the Mojave with, so it's basically a Mojave bumblebee. So three different genes going on there. Um, really pretty snakes. And that one's also a male. So here we have a female pinstripe from earlier in the year. So she's got some size to her. She's pretty good, good sized. Um, and if you're looking for weights for any of these, like I said, just go into Morph Market. They're all weighed out with more professional pictures um, posted. But really nice little pinstripe there. Um, this is one of my favorites that we have left from the, the year. This is a bamboo uh, bumblebee, basically. So a bamboo spider pastel really nice i love what the bamboo does to that Got that really creamy color coming in there so that's really nice um that one is listed uh we have a female lemon blast so oh whoops pastel pinstripe this one's in shed so not the best example but i know i have a, her sister over here which hopefully is not in shed um so same thing yeah she looks good so this is what, uh, you know, your typical lemon blast kind of looks like. Just this this nice yellow kind of brown with that cool pinstripe patterning. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, we've got a couple of those. These are both females. Um, we have some really cool hidden gene Wilma stuff. So this is a hidden gene Wilma lesser. Um, so really cool combo there. And this is a male, this little boy. So if you need a need a male... That is a stunning animal right there, undoubtedly. And over here we have a hidden gene Wilma yellow belly um, that is also actually scaleless head. So we put a scaleless head to this and hit some, some cool odds. So like I said, hidden gene Wilma yellow belly. Um, and then you can see on the head there, those missing scales and it has the split skew um, down below making it a hit for scaleless if you guys are trying to make scaleless animals. Um, the Hidden Gene Wilma is one of my favorites this year. We had a lot of really cool stuff like that. Um, like this one here, um, Hidden Gene Wilma Yellow Belly Fire. Beautiful, beautiful animal. You can really see that fire kind of coming up in the blushing on the sides of the patterning. Really, really awesome. Um, so this is a, a Hidden Gene Wilma Lesser Fire. Um, another one of my favorites that we came out with this year. Honestly, just a stunning animal. The coloration in that is just beautiful. Just beautiful. I don't want to take more than a minute to kind of show off. This is really pretty. Um, that one honestly might be a hold back if it doesn't sell before too long. It's a female. So here we have a Hidden Gene Wilma Yellow Belly male. It's a little boy. So you got that hidden gene Wilma cross with the, the yellow belly kind of coming up the sides there, giving it that pixelated kind of side pattern, got the hidden gene Wilma patterning and color. Um, so it kind of changed genes. This is a pastel inchy. 
a male, a pastel etchy male. Really bright yellows on that one. Really pretty. Got that blushing in the pattern for the pastel. Really, really nice. Um, another uh, same thing, basically. Um, a brother of that one. So more or less identical, but we have two of them. So uh, we have got those guys. Um, this is a, just a pastel that's het for G-stripe. We're going for pastel G-stripes. This one didn't quite get the full homozygous G-stripe, but it is het for sure because the dad was a, um, a visual G-stripe. So that's a pastel het G-stripe. If you're looking for the genetic stripe stuff, we've got a pastel Mojave right here. She just ate. She is swollen right now. I'm not going to pick her up. But um, she's got this really cool kind of weird paradoxing mark going around the sides there. Um, yeah. Really awesome animal. I'm going to keep moving through. Another pastel Mojave. Really pretty colors. Just kind of going through if you're looking for something kind of simple. Um, but also genetically kind of powerful. Really awesome. Um, we got a little firefly down here. A pastel fire. Um, really cool combo if you're looking for the bright colors. Um, you get the bright yellow from the pastel and you get that real cool blushing like that inside of the, the patterning from the fire. So if you're looking for something that's going to make really bright babies, um, that guy right there is a real killer as far as genetics go. Um, I think what we have down here more or less, we have some black-headed pythons that are not for sale. These guys are pretty newly hatched, but I guess more or less just to kind of show them off. Um, I'll do a whole video on them in the future, but we've got several baby black-headed pythons. Um, so, but yeah, like I said, I'll do a whole whole video on those before too long. Um, let's see what else we got. I've got a bunch of just normal hat G-stripes. Um, they're not even really worth showing, but I'll show one of them. Got a bunch of these, more or less just a normal, just hat for G-stripe. If you're looking for genetic stripe stuff, we got some of that. Um, I'm gonna go up here to some more interesting stuff. Um, this is just a simple enchi. So if you're looking for an enchi, we got a female enchi right here. You see that really nice banding pattern, uh, very uh, stereotypical of the enchi. Um, that's if you ever wonder what to look for in an enchi, like right there is it. You see those perfect bands just kind of coming down the sides. Really pretty. Um, something kind of similar, but different, the spot nose. Um, this is a little boy, a uh, spot nose. So you can see in the head right there, I don't know why they call them that. Um, rest of the body looks kind of normal, resembling a normal, if you don't really know what you're kind of looking at. But when you cross this into things, man, it makes crazy combinations with other, other morphs out there. Um, so there's a lot of potential in that. Um, so here we have a lesser vanilla that is also het for exanthic sk tsk exanthic so a lesser vanilla het exanthic really nice sides there really blushed out awesome little baby um, this is just a, a sibling of that this is just a lesser so uh, lacking the vanilla also het for exanthic really nice little guy there um, let's see we have a couple of ghosts so these are just simple hypo-melanistic or hypos. Um, I prefer to call them ghosts. I just kind of think it sounds cool. But really pretty. You get that crazy kind of orange color coming through. That's why they were originally called orange ghosts, but kind of shortened just to ghost. But nonetheless, really pretty. Um, brother, more or less identical. We have two of them. So if you're interested, got those guys. Really, really nice. Um, and getting to the end of it here, um, this is kind of the recessive stuff that I have left up here. This is an albino pinstripe, um, one of the last albinos that we produce. These guys are always so popular, they go really quickly. I'm trying to get the best lighting to show that pinstripe, but um, being that they all just ate, it's kind of hard to see because they all look so stretched out. But you can clearly tell it's an albino, and you can kind of see that pinstripe kind of coming through this white, this white patterning that... Uh, pins down the side um, compared to just a standard albino, um, which is a sibling here. This is just your normal uh, straight albino. Really pretty though. Um, a couple of boys here that are left from the season. 
So those guys need homes. Um, and then the last two, we have some genetic stripe stuff. I showed some het G stripe stuff before. So if you're looking to, he's coming out, um, find out what that really makes. Um, when when you make a homozygous animal, you're gonna get that really nice genetic stripe, that dorsal stripe that comes down the back there. Really nice. Um, so cool, cool snake. And then last, I get him back in there. Last but not least, we have his brother. This one came out to be the pastel genetic stripe. So similar to the one I just showed you. Um, the pattern on the back is a little bit more broken up. Um, it kind of varies, but this one definitely hit the pastel. You can see how much more yellow it is than um, just the normal. Uh, a lot more yellow coming through there. So really, really pretty animal. Um, but like I said, if you guys are interested in any of these animals at all, um, please uh, find us online. Um, somehow you can, probably the easiest way is Morph Market to look us up on there, or you can contact me directly if you're interested, if you have any specific questions. Just let me know. Um, like I said, really trying to get rid of these guys because uh, all of these, these are all adults behind me. <laughs> this is a whole wall full. And so uh, we're going to be, you know, starting pairings here. Uh, we, we started last week. So um, we're going to have babies, you know, coming up. I need to get rid of these guys that I have from last season so to make room for the incoming babies for the 2020 season. Or 2021, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, if you guys are interested, let me know. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching.